Well, as much as I'd love to sit here all day going through my seed catalogs and my books and dreaming about my upcoming garden this year, the truth is there's a lot of things that I need to be thinking about and doing in order to prepare for that dream garden. All right, everybody, welcome to another Garden Journal. I'm really glad you're all here with me, following along with this great garden adventure we're getting started out on here in 2022. Today, we're going to be talking a little bit more about our garden plan, as I've been kind of working just a little bit more on that map we started out last week. Plus, we've got to talk about a little bit about our seeds and what we're going to be growing as well as tackling some of our projects that we've got to get done outdoors. And I know everybody's itching to grow some seeds. Let's get some seeds started. I want to start some seeds. So there's a good crop I want to get started nice and early. And we'll sow out some of those seeds here just a little bit later on. One of the things I wanted to get started with right off the bat is kind of talking about one of those next things that we've got to be thinking about in the garden. Now we've got our spaces mapped out as I talked about last week and all of that. I've been working just a little bit more on it here just to get an idea of some of those projects that I really want to do, plus getting a good idea of some of those garden boxes and containers and those spaces, what I'm going to be growing in them. And that's what we're thinking about right now too, is we're going through all of our catalogs and all of that. And we're thinking about some of those things. What we really want to do now is to really make a good list of those things that we want to grow. So that's kind of what I've been working on here in my journal is thinking about some of these cold crops that I've got here that I want to get started in this uh, next couple of weeks. So making a list here, but one of the things too, is you really got to think about those spaces. Like I said, we only got so much space to be able to use. And I know a lot of us out here, we love to uh, get seeds and get our seed collection with a big idea of what we're going to be growing and all of that. But we've also got to line up what we want to grow with the space that we have because those things might not line up so well. So as we're thinking about all of that, that gives us a good idea of the certain things we need to be doing while we're going through some of our seeds. I've got some of my seeds out right now and I'm sorting through them and I'm trying to uh, figure out which ones I'm going to be using this next year. As my seed collection grows every year, um, I've got to be looking at some of that older seed too. I've got some older seed in here. I'm not too sure if I'm going to be able to use it or not this year. So I'm going to put an iCard right up above here and you can click on it if you want to check out a video I did this last season on a simple little germination test that you could do just to check some of that seed, see if it's going to be viable and you're going to be able to use it in your garden coming up here soon. So, so I'm going through some of this seed. I'm trying to figure out some of that right now and separating out some of these first ones I'm going to be doing. Like uh, um, I've got cabbages, broccoli, uh, a lot of our greens, uh, spinach, uh, things like that that we're going to get started here real soon that can grow in the colder end of the season. We don't have to wait for our last frost date to get a lot of that stuff out into our garden. We can get those started to grow as soon as we can get some soil workable here in some upcoming weeks. So hopefully we'll be able to get out and doing a lot of that. That might be some really uh, great timing there actually. So I'm not too sure if you all heard that or not, but uh, I have one of those pass through mailbox slots that comes through my front door there. And while we were filming, that last segment there, mailman just dropped off my Fedcode seed catalog. So what good timing is that right there? Got some catalogs in the mail while we were talking about seeds. I'm not sure which other one we got here. Oh, our select seeds and our Fedco catalog. All right, well, we got a couple of uh, catalogs to add to our collection here as we're thinking about uh, what seeds we're going to be uh, growing this season.
So now that I've got a good idea of a lot of the things that I'm going to be doing now that I've got it all mapped out, I've got a good idea of all of the plants and things that I want to be growing. So now it's on to the projects that I need to get done so that I can start sowing seeds and start getting things growing in this garden. So one of the first things is to kind of go through this uh, shed that I've got here off of the back carport. I'm also taking inventory of all of my little uh, planters and pots and things that I have for when we do get uh, starting some of our seeds. This here I want to show you too. I've got this plant here and I got this a couple of years back from when I went to go meet Kay Cottrell of the Late Bloomer Garden Channel. And uh, we were lucky enough to go visit her a couple of times when she lived in Los Angeles and she gave me this plant. I can't remember what it's called, but I have to keep it nice and protected during the winter time because it grows really well in the Southern California area here. It just gets a little bit cooler during the winter time. So it really died back really good over the last couple of years. And so I've been trying to make sure that I keep this thing nice and green and alive during the winter time so it can really flourish this next season. Also, one of the things I've done is I've taken some of our projects and all of that and put them down on a nice action calendar for outdoors here. It's right on the shed door so that we can keep track of all of our different projects that are important that we need to get done during the growing season. Got a nice little shopping list and all of that to help us keep organized, which that in turn should help us uh, out in the garden too. So we're also going through and checking out all of our tools, make sure everything's okay. If there's anything we need to replace and clean up this mess. This is a mess right now, but my real goal is right down here. I got this last year, a new pressure washer so that we can uh, clean up this mess of a carport area back here. It's been building up for the last couple of years now. Now that I've got the pressure washer, I wanna get out and clean it up really good. We've moved a couple of our beds around and all of that, and I still got some more weeding we gotta finish up doing here. But all in all, just kind of working over the next few days to get this whole area kind of cleaned up real nice as we start mixing our soil and doing all of that here in the next couple of weeks. I'll be able to start topping everything off. We'll have some starts and getting some of our greens going here real soon. So a lot of things that are going to be growing on here real soon. So I still got to do this work, though. We'll get to uh, pressure washing this all up cleaning that up here. Just a quick look here into one of our five gallon water wicking buckets here. We planted out a couple months back in uh, fall our garlic. Got them covered here with some of our fall leaves, but like I said, weather's been kind of warm. So they're poking up out of here, but just think if you got any garlic and it's poking out already and your warm weather's just being a little bit warm right now, don't worry about it at all. Your garlics will be fine. And I think down here, if we look down below, we should be able to find, yeah, there's one there poking through right now as well. Georgie boy. Yeah. 
What are you up to? Yeah? You out hanging out here? It's nice out today, isn't it? It sure is nice. Come, Come here. What are you doing? What are you doing? So all right, there we go. We've got our patio and our carport all washed up. I did have to stop last night as it got late and we restarted today, but it's nice to get that all cleaned up so that we can move on to some of our other things that we need to do to get this back patio growing. Some really good, delicious food for us. We're gonna get green started up here real soon. I've got those covers there so we can get those going without worrying about some of uh, the weather or anything like that. Plus, we still got some weeding we gotta finish up as well too. But we'll have this all ship shape real soon and growing food before you know it. So all right, everyone, for the last part of this video today, we're gonna finally get to sow some seeds. No, I've been eager ever since fall to finally put some seeds in the ground and get things growing for this upcoming season. Now, one of the things I'll say is that I have grown um, garlic, even elephant garlic. I have grown leeks. I've grown a bunch of different bunching onions, <laughs> but the one thing I have not been able to be successful at growing in my garden are good size bulb onions. Now my problem's more than likely been the fact that I've started my onions just a bit too late in the year. They should have gotten a good early start. And so that's what we're going to do is we're going to start real early here. We're going to get them sewn out so that when they get themselves upright and nice and tall, then we're going to go ahead and take them right outside to be in our greenhouse later to grow out just a little bit more before we put them in the ground outside in our garden. So I've picked out a couple of different varieties of onions that we're going to grow this year. And that's the one thing that you're going to want to consider when you're growing onions is making sure that you're growing the right type of variety for the region you're living in. Now, um, onions have long day and short day and intermediate day and those in between, but the best chance for you to get a successful onion harvest, I'm hoping anyways, is to pick out the best type for my area and that would be long day onions. So I'm gonna be growing some uh, 
Walla Walla Sweet Onions, and I've got a red onion called Red Burgundy, and also another uh, yellow onion, um, a Sweet Spanish. So those will be three different onions I'm going to try growing out this year, and hopefully we'll get a good crop because we're getting a nice early start. Now what we're gonna sow our onions in is just this um, kind of, I'm recycling some plastic basically, or reusing some plastic. Uh, there was this old um, cat litter box that uh, I found out in the uh, alleyway, and I decided that it would make a good planter for onions. So it's actually what I've actually tried to sow my onions in uh, in the past season or so. And um, so we're going to be reusing it again. And it's just got a bunch of holes put in the bottom for drainage. And uh, I'm just going to be filling this up with some just some potting soil that I've got here from indoors. These are gonna be growing indoors, so I wanna use some of my indoor soil that I have. I don't wanna be using any soil that I've had from outdoors or any really bag soil that hasn't had a time where I can make sure that it doesn't have a bunch of fungus gnats and all of that sort of stuff in it too. You really don't want to be bringing that soil from outdoors indoors as well because it'll be carrying a lot of other uh, problems with it. So it's good to have a nice indoor sterile soil that you can use to get your seeds started with. And then they'll be going outdoors and then they'll be dealing with all of that sort of stuff. Onions are really hardy. They'll do just fine after we get some good root systems growing in them and all of that. But yeah, we're just going to get them started here with some of this soil, fill this up, and then we'll sow out some of these onion seeds. Tamping down our soil a little bit there. All right. So I'm basically just going to grow these in some rows. I'm just going to put in a couple of rows here for each of our varieties. want to do is kind of liberally spread out the seed into those rows and then later on if they're really bunched up and I've got too many in there I can always thin them out a bit but while they're growing they should do pretty good pretty close to each other while they're getting started so make sure that we've got plenty of onions to grow so I've put in a couple of rows here of our Walla Walla I'm gonna fill in the rest here and then we'll water these in. So that should about do it for us for this week. I wanna thank you all so much for joining with me here on my great garden adventure as we're getting growing here this season. Onions are all sown. We'll be looking forward to them popping up here real soon. I hope that you all continue to join along with me too and hit that subscribe button. In fact, hit the bell notification so you can be notified of our upcoming garden journals. I'll see you all this next week. Might help if we actually hit the record button. <laughs> Good thing I didn't get very far on that there before I figured that out. Well, that car pulled up just in time. <laughs> I just don't know how loud that is actually. Hey everyone, welcome to another week. Hey everyone, welcome to another week. Our map that we put up 
No, no, no. So yeah, that's so that's one of the things we're doing is going going. Oh my gosh. That subscribe button or hit that bell. All right. <laughs> Some of our beds around so that we. All right. Let's try that again. Nice and simple. Done. I think I like that one.